you have come back to be builders and you're creating the steps. You're actually, the steps are being downloaded for you. You're receiving insight or input to create the steps that are going to not only get you to the next level, but other people around you. So it really is a time of rededicating yourself, finding yourself in a way that you've never found yourself before, finding yourself on a soul level. For some of you might call this a life purpose. What am I really meant to do here? But it's really from the soul. It's about fulfillment. What actually fulfills you, fuels you? We're moving through a time where we're aligning more to inspiration and aspiration, to be inspired to do something, to aspire to do something. And being inspired means that we're receiving the insight or the information that fuels us forward from spirit, from our spiritual essence. It's coming from a more expanded plane or a higher plane of consciousness or conscious awareness. And it has purpose. So the inspiration also gives us the energy to do what we need to do or what we feel that we're called to do. And part of what we're feeling called to do is band with others, to band with other like-minded individuals. To find your soul tribe or allow yourself to be guided to your soul tribe, even if you don't understand why you're being, guide, why you're being guided to certain people or certain situations. Esoterically and metaphysically, it, this is part of that converging flow where we're all coming together from all walks of life, all interests. In saying that, what you have to give is not only needed but necessary. What you have to give, what you have to share is needed at this time. Now right now what's going on is there is a realignment of energies. We are being imploded or receiving a different type of energy right now on the planet. It's a lot more of a restless energy. Um, it's an energy that's diffused for many. It's an energy that we have to all learn how to harness and be with. It's an energy that has different patterns, uh, different life cycles. You might find that your sleep cycle is off. You might find that um, you're eating differently. You might find that you are not just an I now, but you're an early morning person. You might find for some that are sleeping more, you might find others are sleeping less. You have to really align and ride with these, these new energies that are coming in because your physical body isn't yet acclimated to these energies. I really suggest with this is drinking a lot of, lot of water, um, more alkaline for some, more ionized water, but definitely hydrating um, is really important at this time. I've spoken about this before. Extra B vitamins are also very helpful, uh, C, zinc, but to also know your pattern, what can you, when you're taking in a lot of this energy, some, sometimes it might be too much. You might be feeling um, inspired to, to create a lot or do a lot. And then you might be inspired to pull within or cocoon or retreat. You need to honor your patterns right now. You need to honor the life cycle that you're in because it's no longer a linear cycle. Our cycle is a bit more Uranian. It's a bit more in spurts now. And that is the Aquarian energy. It, it, it still will have the linear because we have the energy of Saturn. You know, old father time, we have the energy of sequence. But because we're living more and more from synchronistic timing, we're moving more into things happening by event. So things can happen in spurts. And then you may think, okay, something's over. I'm not meant to do this anymore. So there's a lot of lumping with this energy, I would say. Things are lumped together. And it's the synchronistic timing is, is by event. And we will be called in to be a part of certain events by our resonance, by what we have to share and what we're truly about. So it's no longer on an ego personality level saying, I want to do this, or this is what I want to focus on. It's, it's some of that, but the bigger pull is going to be by what are you resonating on a soul level and what, what, what part of your gifts, your talents are needed now. So you may say, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a director or I'm a writer, and 
why am I now being asked to talk? Why am I asked to be to, to speak? Or or why am I asked to be made pottery when that's only my um, you know my uh, hobby? Because that's what's needed. Or maybe you're a potterer. You really love making pottery, making clay jewelry, but now you're being drawn into something else. And you're saying, no, 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 I'm a potterer, I'm a jeweler. No, this is what I do. But that's not what's being called right now. So the call that comes, and if we all answer the call, the call that comes is what's most needed right now in the evolution of consciousness. That is this new emerging consciousness. The new emerging consciousness moves us from the me to the we. The new emerging consciousness moves us from consumerism to creativism. So we're not just taking and taking. We're making and creating. The new emerging consciousness moves us from focusing on the individual I into the we into the group in a balanced way. It's not only about thinking only about the group, it's also thinking about what's right for you as an individual psyche or an individual soul, but how does that fit into the group at any given time? And you will find that by resonance, what you're resonating towards and what others are resonating towards you or what they're seeing or feeling from you. Really important right now to focus on your intuition let your intuition guide you or your feeling nature, not your emotions. It's important to clear the emotions. Have, do not make decisions unless you're in a clear or balanced state. And your feelings will guide you. Your feeling tone will guide you. Because we create and draw to us not by what we think, but by how we feel and what we feel. That's the inspiration and aspiration aspect. So you have to be in touch with that inner, I call it the inner GPS, that guides you towards something. Not out of only the ego personality, but out of, I'm feeling this call, I'm feeling this direction. But now it can, it can throw people off, because so many times we think we're hearing something intuitively. But it's really the ego, we call it spiritually, spiritual arrogance. Uh, a wonderful book on that, Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism by Shoham Trungpa. And also the I Ching, it said, when the ting is not clear, the water is muddy. So I can have pure water, pure downloads coming through, but if my ting, if my vessel is not clear, if there's too much emotional charge, if there's too many limiting beliefs and misunderstandings and that's not clear, then no matter what I intuit, what I think is I'm doing intuitively can be off base. Because we're moving in a time of also being more telepathic and being able to see what's, where somebody really is at, we also need to lead with the heart. We have to have compassion because we will be seeing each other and also ourselves, in essence, nude. We'll be seeing beyond the mask. And so we ask you, how can you have comfort and compassion for yourself and for others when you see their misgivings or their misunderstandings or you see their limiting patterns, doesn't always mean that you stay with them or around them, but it's important not to cut off. It's important to allow the bond, allow the connection, but not to stop your creation. 